My name is Elizabeth Kimball. I am the executive director of Wasatch Adaptive Sports that makes outdoor recreation accessible in our community. Peter Mandler started the program in 1977. People with different abilities didn't have access to the outdoors. And so he said, we need to make a program where this is available to everybody. My name is Camille Kramer and I started in the fall. I have Eller's Demos, which makes my joints super lax. I love the outdoors, I love the mountains, but I was so scared. I'm like, they're never gonna invite me back. They're like, nah, skiing's not for you. But it's just been so amazing and, and liberating. One of our core values is adapt to evolve. What's gonna be the best thing for this person? You know, as people that live in Salt Lake, the outdoors are gonna always be a part of our lives. And we wanna make sure that that is available to those with disabilities. It's about that sensation of movement and being outside of disability and stepping into a different realm of potential. Skiing to me gives me a freedom that I have never felt. It's a feeling of, of control. My name is Phil Jorgensen, and I started skiing with Wasatch Adaptive Sports the winter of 92-93. It was my first time down, and I was at the end. I think I got a little excited about, oh, it's over. <laughs> and I fell, and my instructor, he's like, that was awesome. He's like, take all the time in the world. Like, you're not bothering anybody. It was very comforting to know, like, I'm not um, a burden. We are a year-round operation, so ski, snowboard, and snowshoe are happening in the winter. Um, in the summertime, our programs are really exploding um, with our cycling program. I'm able to get out and uh, get some really good exercise, and Utah has a lot of really great trails. I've lived in Salt Lake now for just over 10 years. It's incredible to watch the outdoor community just flourish. We can ride our bikes straight from our front doors and go grab a drink one place, go grab some incredible food in another place. And then we're gonna go to a show at night and then we'll catch dinner. And then if I need a break from the, the pace of the city, then I can go up in the canyons and get away. The Salt Lake community is really at the heart of who we are as an organization and we have volunteers that come and enable more of our scholarships to be available. The donor base is huge, um, people here really believing and sharing, and so our scholarship assistance program is a huge part of that lasting benefit. I can see how good it is for the volunteers who volunteer with Wasatch Adaptive Sports, and I'm just seeing that we're able to help so many more people than before. Wasatch Adaptive Sports gives me the confidence to be able to know that they're going to be right there and they know what they're doing and they know how to help me. And now I'm like, like I'll be okay because I have that confidence now. In Salt Lake, there's endless potential to be connected to calm experiences right outside our back door. I am Elizabeth Kimball. I'm an advocate for accessible outdoor recreation and I am Salt Lake.